This lesson is all about multi-level numbering. Multi-level numbering, as you can see from the screen here, is used when you need to have a list that has different levels, like the following. We've actually seen this in the lesson on numbering, but this is how we would start off and set about creating this type of list. Typically, it's used for legal lists sometimes, or for minutes, or for any kind of list where you have main points and sub points. Multi-level numbering has an icon all of its own in the paragraph group. As you can see, multi-level list. I'll click the drop-down arrow. At the moment, it says none. And I'm going to now go back in there, and I'm going to choose this one, this 1.1, which is kind of the usual. And as you can see, my new list starts at number 1. So I'm going to start typing. Start typing my number 1. And when I press Enter, as I expect, I will get a number 2. But this actually needs to be 1.1, so I'll use the tab key to make it a sub or even a sub level. And each time I add use the tab use the enter key, I stay at the level that I'm always already at, as you can see. When I'm ready to move in and I maybe need a sub level of that, so instead of it being 1.4, it needs to be 1.3.1. .1. I'll use the tab key and now I'm at the next level. And here I am again. And so on and so on. Once I'm ready to go back to another main point, I can use shift and tab and shift and tab again to go right back out to a main level and I can continue creating those lists as often as I want and back out. Here we go again. Now I'd like to get some space in between my points so I'll use the shift key, press enter, let go of the shift key, press enter again and now I've got point number four and when I press enter, I'm off I go. So as you can see, using the keyboard, it's very, very easy to create a multi-level list.